Tensions are high in the fast-paced and world of NASCAR, as drivers push their limits to win. However, when Ross Chastain found himself in the middle of a storm, it sparked a heated discussion between the owners. As Chastain addressed the difficult conversations, sparks flared, leaving Burton furious and sparking an explosive response. According to Burton, Chastain crossed the line at Darlington, and the aftermath promises to be nothing short of sensational. So fans get ready to dive into today's video on NASCAR Zone and witness the heat going on in the racing world. But before we dive into that, do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. The NASCAR Cup Series has a new villain this time. Even though he wears a smile that is perpetually devilish, he has a reputation for being as prickly as a pinnacle. In addition to being one of the most talented race car drivers in the championship, he is also one of the most divisive. Since making his first appearance in the Cup in 2017, Ross Chastain has amassed quite the following. By combining lightning-fast machinery with an unrelentingly hostile driving style, the stock car driver who competes for trackhouse racing has become a household figure. The previous year, he was so close to winning a championship, but he ended up finishing in second place in the last race. He has emerged as one of NASCAR's most divisive figures in recent years. It could be the watermelon that he throws off the roof of his car whenever he wins a race. Or perhaps it's his belligerence. Chastain has gotten into it with just about every major name in NASCAR, from Denny Hamlin to Kyle Larson. The youngster, Noah Gragson, took a punch to the face from him. Through his collision with Noah Gragson in April at Talladega, he was a contributing factor in the catastrophic accident that involved Kyle Larson. Because of the move, Larson's vehicle was made to appear as though it had been hit by a cannonball. The fight broke out at that point. At Kansas, Chastain delivered a powerful right hand to Gragson, which ended the post-race brawl and put an end to the proceedings. After the two drivers crossed paths in the Adventhel 400, Gragson engaged Chastain in conversation. As is common knowledge, not long after that, Chastain caused a commotion once more at Darlington. Ross Chastain has, without a shadow of a doubt, been the subject of heated debate and the focal point of ire in the NASCAR Cup Series garage for the past year. And it would appear that things finally came to a head after the race that took place on Sunday at Darlington Raceway. In the closing circuits of the race, Chastain and Kyle Larson collided on back-to-back -back restarts as they were competing for the lead. As a result of the collision, both cars crashed out of the lead position and were eliminated from the race. Following the incident, Larson's crew chief Cliff Daniels put out a request for assistance over the radio, pleading with Chevrolet to assist. After the race, team owner Rick Hendrick was forthright in his critique of Chastain. I think you can ask any driver in here that he's wrecked to have been involved with him. He, you know, he doesn't have to be that aggressive. And I guess at this, at this point in the race, maybe you're you're super aggressive, but you just don't run people up in the fence or, you know, just he's not gonna he's gonna make a lot of enemies. That it's hard to win a championship when you got a lot of paybacks out there. And uh, so I, he's got so much talent. I think if he just calmed down that uh, he's got a lot of talent, but he's making a lot of enemies out here. And I mean, Kyle, now this is this this one in Dover, and you know, it just uh, it's it's getting Talladega. It's really getting old with these guys. Justin Marks, a co-owner of Trackhouse Racing, gave an interview to Sirius XM NASCO Radio on Monday, during which he indicated that he would become more involved in the situation and take on a more active role. Chastain sought to put everything behind him for a few hours by getting behind the wheel of a car's tour late model at North Wilkesboro. With so much attention being placed on his behavior, Chastain tried to put everything behind him. Chastain told Racing America that it's just true racing here. It is, man. It, it's, uh, it's just true racing here. And uh, it's really simple. Not a lot of people. There's a lot of people around, but everybody's on a different team. Um, not a lot of media, right? With cameras in <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Uh, it, it is. It's nice. It was nice today just to get in the car and drive. And uh, did a lot for me. I got to ask you, you know, Justin was on Sirius earlier uh, yesterday. Talked about having conversations with you, just trying to dial things back a little bit. What have those talks been like, and what's the last couple days been like over at Trackhouse? 
Yeah, I mean, look, it's tough conversations. It's, it is. Uh, and I'm leaning on my my team, both at track house and outside, uh, to help me help me do this. You know, I, I get to live with the decisions I make, and I get to I get to, to live with that for the rest of the time. Uh, but I'll learn from it, man. I'm, I'm human. I'm gonna make mistakes. Not I don't want to make them on that stage in that manner, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, gonna be better for it. What are your thoughts on the comments that Chastain? has really learned from his past mistakes. Let us know in the comments section below. Be sure to hit the bell button and subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates. When Jeff Burton was asked about the clash between Ross Chastain and Rick Hendrick, he didn't hold back one bit. Well, look, there's been 13 races this year and Ross Chastain has been in incidences in the last nine. I, I, I mean, it is what it is, but guys, guys, this is who Ross Chastain is. Like if you go back and watch Ross Chastain race through his career, and you talk to the competitors he raced with, none of them were surprised. <laughs> like, this is who Ross Chastain is. And, you know, he's going to own it. I think if we go back last year and we watched, there was a portion of the year where he tried to relax. He tried to, mm -hmm. to not put himself in these situations. And he ended up causing wrecks anyway because he was trying to be super conservative. Justin Marks, the car owner, they sat down and said, stop it. Just go back to who you are. Go back to doing what you're doing. And that's what just, that's what he's doing. This is Ross Chastain. This is who he's going to be. And the competitors have to decide if they're gonna deal with it anymore. And I can, there is no question that in the garage, competitors are like enough. They've had enough. And now when your car owner comes out and says it, it's yeah, the, the, the pressure is going to continue to mount. But I will say this, guys, we talked about this last year. He can't win a championship. People won't let him win a championship. He almost won a championship. Nobody, mm -hmm. nobody got in his way of winning a championship. Nobody did anything that kept him from having a chance to win Phoenix. Like none of that happened. So it, 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 it is reaching a boiling point and, and is a very difficult situation for everybody involved. But at the end of the day, it's on Chastain. He's got to decide who he wants to be, but he's decided it. We need to quit thinking that he's not going to be this because this is who he's going to be. The evidence is in. Why is it going to change? Fans are beginning to warm up to Chastain, despite the fact that his opponents have been less than impressed with his driving style. As a result of his skyrocketing popularity among the spectators, he has been compared by many to other drivers, such as Dale Earnhardt Sr. It is likely that Ross Chastain will continue to be one of the most divisive drivers we have seen in recent times. Jeff Burton does not anticipate that the individual will alter his position, but the outcome of this question is still up in the air. There are other drivers competing in the Cup Series at North Wilkesboro in addition to Chastain, and several of them have had big conflicts with the Trackhouse Racing driver. At Kansas Speedway two weekends ago, Noah Gragson was involved in a fight that occurred after the race. Chastain hit Gragson during the altercation before security came and broke it up. Gragson started to Racing America that the presence of Chastain at the track was irrelevant to him. I mean, just in, in general, like on the Cup side, do you, are you encouraged that you know people like Mr. Hendricks are speaking up now? Chastain sees the opportunity to compete in the Cars Tour Window World 125 as nothing more than a method to get ready for the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series race on Saturday and the NASCAR All-Star race on Sunday. While North Wilkesboro Speedway's incredible return to Cup Series racing after decades in ruins is the talk of the town ahead of this Sunday's NASCAR All-Star race, it's only natural that all eyes will be on Chastain. His fierceness on the track and past as a blue-collar worker reminds me of a famous driver who became a legend on the same asphalt Junior Johnson. Chastain might be able to tune out the noise and find success as he tries to change his identity and image in the NASCAR Cup Series by getting in touch with his inner speedy smuggler. At last, people can't stop looking at him, whether they like him, dislike him, or feel something in between. They talk about him all the time. That can only be good for NASCAR. So that is for today. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more of our videos on NASCAR updates. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.